It me, da doom. Welcome to the hall. Welcome back, war gamers, to another King Bonsai journey vlog. So in this journey vlog, I am going to a Shadow in These Two, hosted by Matt Iverson of the New England Medora Strategy Battle Gamers. So this is an 800 point tournament with an extra five points if you turn in your list early, which I have done. And yeah, so uh, some of the top players in the uh, United States will be there, such as uh, Devin and uh, Cole and Jake. And obviously Matt will be there and his son Evan, though Matt will be TOing. And yeah, so my army is Dane Ironfoot, Lord of the Iron Hills on Warp War, leading three Iron Hills dwarves with spear and shield, three Iron Hills dwarves with crossbow and spear, three, uh, one Iron Hills dwarf with a spear, shield, and banner, and one Iron Hills goat rider with a war spear. Then I have Thorin, King Under the Mountain, with four Iron Hills Warriors with Spear and Shield, three Iron Hills Warriors with Spear and Crossbow, and then I have Biffer, Champion of Erebor. Uh, Thorin, by the way, is a goat and Orchrist. But then I have Biffer, Champion of Erebor, leading four Iron Hills Dwarves with Spear and Shield, and three, two Iron Hills Dwarves with Spear and Crossbow. So yeah, that is, he also has one Goat Rider with War Spear, and I have Gladio Lady of Light to back them up. So that is my army list. It has a breakpoint of 14 models, and its general, as I say, I think is Dane. And yeah, so it's 20, 26 models in all, and I will definitely be looking forward to uh, playing. And yeah, I'm actually bringing some terrain, and my dad will also be a ringer for some of the games. Uh, he's brought um, high, uh, not high elves, uh, Mirkwood. So he has about a warband of armored elves, except for one uh, palace guard with spear, shield, and banner. Uh, Thranduil on foot, Tariel, and uh, Legolas, as well as Gladio Lady of Light. Also a warband of Mirkwood Rangers, well, 11. And yeah, so that's the army he'll be uh, doing the ringing for some of the games, if ringing is the right word for it. And yeah, so I am really looking forward to getting to play, and I will come back to you... Uh, either before or after my first game when we get to the venue. See you then. Well, welcome back, Wargamers. After one of the closest games I have ever actually played, uh, it was a 0-0 draw, but pretty much we were playing uh, Storm the Camp, so it's very far to run. I sent one goat off, and he almost got to the camp, but he had sent two pikemen, which didn't do anything, and a uh, cavalry. Uh, he was playing fiefdoms. He sent one of his uh, fiefdoms cavalry, the knights, swan knights mounted, and he managed to catch that goat before he got there. If he hadn't, I would have gotten six VPs for holding mine and taking his. And if I had killed two more, I would have broken him. If he killed one more, he would have broken me. And there was a point where Imrahil was surrounding Dane in the last turn and won the row off but failed to uh, deal more than one wound, which Dane used to fate to prevent. Obviously, in that case, Dane could have gotten Imrahel pretty hard, too. So, since Imrahel was out of might, Dane still had two. Uh, one after he used the might to tie the fight. So, pretty much, yeah, it was a very close game, but a 0-0 draw. So, I'll probably be in bottom tables for, uh, for the next stuff, because this goes by VPs and not by win slash draw. Otherwise, I'd probably be middle of the table somewhere. But yeah, so I will now be going into the next game, and I'll let you know how that goes. See you then. Welcome back, War Gamers. My second game uh, was significantly better. I won 11 to 0. I was playing Nat Fry, who had a quite themey Azog's Legion army. So we went into the bow. It was domination, and pretty much at the end, I held four objectives. Had more models on the last objective, which is actually one of the ones on my side. Um, than he did, and uh, I had broken him and killed his General Azog. Pretty much the main thing that happened is in the first turn I uh, had combat with Dane, so Azog copied the combat, but he was against Biffer and Thorn, so Thorn struck and was able to kill Azog with his rerolls, because uh, he can reroll against Azog, King Under the Mountain. It's a little known ability, rarely used, but it worked in this scenario, and yeah, so then his Orcrus did D3. With the White Wark's fate, he was able to live. But, and spending all the White Wargs might, but then uh, the spear support that was two spear supporting Biffer finished Azog off. So, 
I managed to kill him there, and then I just kind of slaughtered him until he was almost at 25%, and then I was keeping him from running, or not keeping him from running, but keeping him from dying so that I could hold the last objective, uh, which I wasn't able to completely push him off, but I did end up taking it. So, yeah, it was quite a good game, and I am now on table three playing Jacob Hall. So, he's actually probably one of the only top American players that I have uh, not played so far, so I'm definitely looking forward to getting an opportunity to play him. And yeah, this will definitely be a tough game as we're going into hold ground. So I'll let you know how that game went afterwards. See you then. Welcome back, Wargamers. After my third game, I played uh, Jacob Hall, and uh, I was, uh, I did lose uh, 11 zips, so uh, definitely lost, though it wasn't an unenjoyable loss by any means. Uh, the dwarves kind of made a ring, and my big mistake was my banner wasn't touching anybody, and even though it was fortified, uh, he was a, Jake was able to black dart it, and uh, Thorin fluffed, I fluffed a few uh, transfix rolls, which caused my heroes to die, and his plus one to wound really took out, like, Thorin and Biffer. So, uh, yeah, Jake, did you have any thoughts about that army, or um, game? So, I, I really enjoyed the game. Uh, I like got biggest thing, I, I need to learn to write Might Will Fate down for everybody because I keep forgetting that. And then, uh, um, no, I mean, yeah, you did you did well. You did the only thing that you could was turtle on the objective and, and, and try and hold out. But losing the goats, I think, opened up, since, since they were so big, they opened up holes where I can start getting multiple dudes on, on single guys, which allowed me to capitalize on my... Uh, my uh, army bonus. So yeah, I actually thought the goats losing was more of a good because I could break it up in more two-on-two -two fights, but it didn't quite work out the way it would have worked if the goats had died earlier. I think. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, I, I had fun playing that game too. The Ring of Dwarves was definitely fun to do. Mm -hmm. I just wish my heroes stayed alive a bit better. True. True. Uh, the the one round with with Thorin where he failed that transfix that was that was pretty pretty bad but when I when I saw you fortify literally everybody with Galadriel I honestly didn't think my raids would do anything and anything so that's pretty much why when I cast a spell I use both of my might to try and get a six because I'm like there's no reason to not do it I'm never gonna get a spell off on anything else yeah, that definitely was good, and it caused me to burn a mite on Dane, and uh, later it caused the death of Thorin. Um, no, it was actually you burned two mite one time. You caught no, you burned two mite on uh, to kill Thorin, and then two mite to kill the banner. Yes. So yeah, that was uh, unfortunate for me, but well played on your part. No, it was it was an enjoyable game. Uh, look forward to playing you again. Yeah, I definitely hope we uh, we do get together uh, another time, uh, maybe with a bit different armies. Yeah, uh, yeah. A, little, a little bit differently. I might bring uh, bring some spiders next time. I like spiders. <laughs> so yeah, so I will be going into the fourth game against Alex right now. See you after the battle. And so, yeah, after my fourth game uh, with Alex Wright against his Numenor, I uh, lost 9-5. to five. Uh, It was uh, Heirlooms of Ages Pass, so he got the Relic, like, on the other side of the board, so pretty much I had to run my dwarves diagonally across the board around Weathertop uh, to get at him, so I managed to break him in the last turn, failed to kill his banner, rolled a 4, uh, not even 4, but needed a 5 to kill the banner at the end, and didn't, but, uh, so I didn't get the, uh, max VPs for banner, but I did get one because I had a banner, but I didn't kill his. So, I just won. And, yeah, so he had the heirloom pretty much the whole time. I didn't break him in time to make his guy run away. And I didn't manage to cut through. Uh, it was a pretty great game. I managed to kill Elendil. And, uh, I also killed his general Gladriel with Dane, who managed to just pull off a, a uh, a, uh, win or a uh, win the fight against Gladriel, and then after he lost uh, the fight, actually, I think, and then uh, managed to survive, then he attacked Gladriel, uh, rolled eight dice, needing twos, got seven wounds on her, which killed her, and then Dane died the next turn, so I killed his general, then my general died, and so yeah, it was quite a good game, um, he was shooting quite a bit towards the end, which was the smart idea, because that was keeping me from breaking him and making his guy run away, and also cutting into his his uh, heirloom bear, so yeah, so it was a good game, uh, unfortunately I did loss, lose, so 
I'm at uh, 16 VPs, because the way uh, Shaolin Beast runs is it's just VPs, uh, wins loss doesn't matter. Uh, so yeah, I am on 16 VPs, uh, about mid-table, but... So yeah, I'm looking forward to uh, playing uh, the next two games on Sunday. We found out it will be Reconnoiter. So that will definitely be uh, be a bit of a trick with my dwarves, but we'll see how that goes. I am going to, uh, I should be able to uh, talk with Alex tomorrow about his take on the game, uh, if we remember to do that. So uh, you, uh, so the next clip should be me talking to Alex, and if it isn't, it's because it got forgotten in the next day of the tournament. So yeah, see you then. So yeah, that is the end of day one. Be sure to stay tuned for day two. Until then, be sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Support your Hobbit hobby and Akman Ruki Astu. Thank you.